This is a collective tarot card reading. We're looking at no contact. Are they going to reach out anytime soon? I'm going to do a connection spread between you both in today's timeless tarot card reading. Welcome back to Hope Tarot Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe and your intuition. It's completely up to you if you claim it or not. It is a collective reading and I genuinely believe there's a reason that you've been brought here today. So let's do a connection spread between you and your person who you're in no contact with. We want to know, are they going to reach out anytime soon? Okay, let's split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. Down this side is them. If you want to support the channel, put a like on the reading. It helps to push the thumbnail in front of someone that's never seen it before. It's a random act of kindness that you can do for free. Subscribe, turn your notifications on and private readings are available from my website. Um, so you've walked away from this in the recent past. The first line is the recent past. You had no choice but to walk away or they pushed you away or it feels like you're going, oh, I, don't, I don't know what more I can do. I think at the moment... I think you've done the work here of moving on and moving forward, but it feels like a little bit of a blip. It feels like you're missing them. It feels like you're looking for something, um, some sign of something. Are they coming back? Are they not? Um, and the reason that you had to walk away with the Six of Swords reversed is a half-hearted energy from them and the Empress reversed. You were missing out on things, a lack of growth, a lack of um, moving forward, a lack of... Um, love care attention um, and it's because of all their half-hearted energy and it feels like you had to take something from this situation but walk away from it um, and you did take something from this situation and you did walk away or you felt like you disconnected and it felt like you had no choice but you're in the moment in your head of oh, I really want to hear from them again um, so at the moment they've got the tower reversed which is slow moving problems um it's a liberation slowly being set free um and you've got the sword the ace of swords reversed which is feeling well this isn't fair um it could be you feeling have they even noticed that i've gone like what is the effect of me going has it actually caused any problems for them do they actually give a shit about me i don't like swearing but that word keeps coming out a lot lately and I don't know why. Um, maybe it's one of you. Uh, if you claim this reading, let me know. We've got the Knight of Swords in the middle of you both and it's this pent-up energy. It's this... It kind of feels... Do you know what? If they reach out at the wrong point, you're probably going to have a go at them. Um, it, <sighs> um, because the way it happens, it, it would just... It wouldn't be what you hope it to be I think or it feels like you're having your say it feels like them you know it just feels complicated but they've got the tower reversed it's the the problems that are here are the problems that they created and it's not fair and you deserved better and yeah you have to be careful that you don't go to battle with this person um I do think it's a blip, I do, so yeah, I do think it's a blip, I do think if they do reach out or if you reach out, if one of you reaches out, it's going to end up in an argument and if anything, it's going to make them feel good in a weird way, uh, you're moving on to the two of swords reversed, which is a natural path here, so you had the eight of cups, which is walking away from this, but you need to be on a new path doing a new thing you can't keep revisiting this you can't keep walking down the same path because this time around it's going to be more stressful um the two of swords when it's reversed for me is all about your inner conflict disharmony if they say the wrong thing it's gonna escalate into an argument and the thing that the thing that's in my head and the thing that i'm feeling is they want to know that you want to go back. Like, if you've been thinking about contacting them, don't. Because it's going to stroke their ego. 
Because if you're wondering, like, have they noticed that I've gone? Yeah, they've noticed that you've gone. But they kind of think that you're going to come back, that you're going to make the effort. Are they going to reach out to you? No. But I do think if you're not careful, there's going to be um, contact initiated by you. But it's going to make them feel like, oh, yeah, they still care about me in an ego kind of way. And uh, it's going to just reopen everything again. And I want you to remember why you removed your energy. And what have they done? You know, what have they done to try and pull you back in? What have they done to try and make up for it? Do you really want to go down this path again with this person? That's the message that's here for you. And I think that's quite a poignant message. In between you both is the five of wands, which is arguments within this petty, it's stupid. And it, it, it feels like if you go that route, you're going to regret doing that because there's going to be a moment where you realise that they, they're quite smug about it. Like, oh, you've come back, have you? Like this. It feels like that. And how would that make you feel? Um, what would the effect on you be? I'm going to do a quick Celtic cross for you. Because you're on this path to anxiety with the swords coming out reversed for you. You you want their retention, you want want it, but do you really want to go down this path with them again? If you truly disconnect and you decide to walk a different path, what is that gonna look like? Because I think I don't think they're gonna reach out to you. I think they may do something indirectly to try and get you to reach out to them. But it's going to just stroke their ego. It's going to make them feel good. And you're just going to get more stressed. Because um, you've done a lot of good work. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you. So beyond the two of swords reversed. If you really do break from this now. What does it look like? Yes, yeah, so the six of cups. Leaving this truly in the past. Taking a step back. Leaving it truly in the past. Um... And um, what's worth fighting for? What's worth walking away from with the five of swords? And it's regaining that balance back in again. It's that moment of, do you know what? Even if we do talk to each other, are we really going to want to do this again? Do I want to put myself through this again? Because sometimes we have to take a little bit of responsibility of, do I really want to do that again? You are the most important person in your world. Don't do the things that stresses you out the most. You deserve better and you deserve someone who isn't going to let you walk away, who isn't going to put you in silence, who is going to show up, who is going to be supportive, who is going to do those things, who does want to build a life with you, who doesn't want to let you go. So the tower, which is they've got at the moment. Um, this is your real moment. This reading, if this is your tarot reading and you claim it, this is your moment to truly break free from this connection. Put a full stop under it. There's a reason you disconnected from it. There's a reason that you want a new path. Set yourself free. Build yourself a new path in a new direction with new people coming in. And new things for you that are good for you. Building yourself a new foundation with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is the foundation. The tower is breaking up this connection, being set free from this connection and building yourself something new, something better, where your needs are met because within this connection, your needs were not met. So you need to meet your own needs, your comfort, your contentment. Do that for you and the right person will come in and they will walk down that path and, and meet you halfway. Um, I'm kind of getting a little bit up, you know, I'm getting a bit, ah, uh, come on. Don't don't keep reaching out to this person. Don't keep wanting them. I know it's hard. Keep moving forward. You're doing the hard work. Keep moving forward for you. That's the message that's here. And if you're in the comments going, no, but this isn't noble, this is not your reading. If this is your reading, you're sitting there nodding. You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Bit tough love, but there we go. I want you to be happy. I want you to be confident. I want you to have people in your life who want to be in your life. We've got the Four of Cups in your past and it's nice to see that it's in your past. This is a blip. So you've come in as the Eight of Cups and you've kind of 
the work that you were doing maybe you're feeling a bit tired maybe you're feeling a bit exhausted maybe it's just four o'clock in the morning and you need to get some sleep maybe you just need to block them on everything and not look at their social media stop opening up the energy link between you both don't undo all of the good work that you've done ace of pentacles a brand new beginning for you we want a new path for you don't go back down the swords reversed you want the ace of pentacles a new path a new road that you're building for you that's going to take you somewhere amazing the wizard of oz is in my head that's going to mean something to you if this is your reading so are you ever going to find a connection that is 50 50 that's the secret underlying question of course you will you are going to have someone in your life who puts as much into it as what you do. The Knight of Cups, being open for new love. And this is the timing on this. This is you building your path forward, letting go of toxic people, letting go of toxic connections, letting go of the anxiety that comes with it, validating yourself, being open to new opportunities and new people coming your way. Got the Two of Swords, which is the right way up. I don't do reversals, but this is your choice. This is your moment in time. This is your attainment. And this is your moment in time. Are you going to have this anxiety trying to cling on to someone who's just going to feel good that you want to cling on to them? Or are you going to centre yourself, find your inner balance, find what's good for you and make choices that are beneficial for you? There we go. Strong and independent. You'll meet someone at some point, but at the moment you've got work to do. You've come in as the Eight of Cups. Moving on to the Nine of Pentacles, which is you've been surrounded by a lot of good things. The Nine of Pentacles, you've been independent and the right person will come in at the right point. Let go of this person. You know what you need to do. And if this is your reading, you know it's your reading. So I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection. So your angels take you on your way. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you see Purple Hearts anywhere on my channel, there are other people that make it right to the end of the reading. It really is the Purple Hearts that power this channel forward. I am so, so grateful. Your random act of kindness, of subscribing, doing all the YouTube things, of commenting and liking and, and doing all of that it really does help bring new people here and hopefully it gives something good out to the world i will see you soon